Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you how to make a rectangular drill hole in Padstack Editor for ORCID 17.2. You can install the ORCID trial or if you have Allegro installed already, make sure you have version 17.2. Okay, so what you do is go to your Windows Start menu, choose Cadence Release 17.2, and then you have the Padstack Editor option. Make sure you open that and choose to do a file new. I'm not going to save this. And we'll call it rec underscore drill or DRL, whatever you want to name it. Make sure it's a through pin pad stack and click OK. You'll have all these options here and the geometry you want is a slot geometry. For the pad geometry you want a rectangle. I'll leave my units in mil since I'm in the US but you can choose millimeters of course which is what the rest of the world uses. So yeah. Now let's go to the drill tab. We want this drill hole to be this shape rectangular slot is what we want. You can also do oval slot but we'll go rectangular. Let's make this 120 in the X direction and then 90 in the Y direction. You can also set a tolerance you know so let's say you want to do 5 mils for the tolerance. You know, 5.0 mils for the tolerance and that's fine. So that as well. Okay the hole slot or plating, you can do plated or non-plated. So if you do non-plated, it can be a mechanical hole. Uh, but let's go with plated because we want to solder to this thing. What is the secondary drill? You can see from here there's some options, but don't select that. You can set a drill symbol. Let's go with X. Now the drill offset, I don't want this to be off-center, so that's fine. Next, let's go to the design layers. This is really important. So you see the hole from the top view and from the side view. What you need to do is fill in the copper that it's to be expected when you make this pad stack. So the copper on the top and the copper on the bottom. And then for any multiple layers, you want to establish what type of copper shape do we want inside in between to those, uh, betwixt those layers as well. All right, so for the begin layer or the top layer, top copper, the geometry will set to rectangle because this is a rectangular hole and that makes sense. So. Let's make this at least 30 or 40 mils greater than what we established. So what is the drill hole X size? 120. Let's make this 150. Because I imagine this would be a big sort of part leg uh, that you want to anchor down with the solder. So we want enough space to solder this when you stick the leg of that component through. We want to have enough space to solder to on this copper here. Um, and then you don't see it yet, but I'll show you. 90 is the uh, 90 is the Y size or direction there. So let's make this larger like 120. Hit tab on the keyboard. So this is what I'm talking about when I say you want to put this component lead through the hole and have enough area to solder to. So this doesn't look like enough. I'm going to make this larger like 200. There we go. And then we'll go with 150. Yeah, I think that's enough to solder to. To save some time, you can right click on here, copy, right click and then paste. The bottom copper layer is going to have the same shape too. But you also need to establish a default internal layer in case you like, in case you make a multi-layer board. And that is the pad stack layers. Next what you want to do is go to the mask layers. Do we want a solder mask? Yes we do. Otherwise, if we don't establish it, then the solder mask will cover all of this so all of this will be green except for the hole we don't want that we want to solder to this copper so go in here choose the geometry as rectangle because that's the shape you want to expose and then set to width to a little more than what we established before so 205 and for the height what did i set the pad the design layer height to 150 so let's go with 155 why just 5 mils over? Because that's sort of standard uh, for PCB manufacturers. You don't want to expose too much copper uh, with a solder mask. Right click on this and then paste it. Right click and copy and paste it on the solder mask bottom. Because you want to solder it on the top and on the bottom. And there you go. So now let's save this. You just hit the save button and it'll be saved. It shows you the folder that is actually saved in. That is how you create a pad stack or drill hole pad stack. Really hope this helped you and thanks for watching.